last, I mean, some obviously some some line changes. You kind of expect that when things are when you don't win for three in a row. How do you view the way things go, and particularly how they uh, impact you? Yeah, obviously uh, there were some changes today on lines, but uh, I don't know if it's going to stay for tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, for us, we got we got some things done today. Some cleanup stuff that we you know that affected us yesterday in the game. So. Um, I thought it was a really good practice, and like you said, line changes today. So hopefully the line changes can get a little spark underneath us. This is a big 48 hours for your, for you guys. I mean, it's back to back. You gotta you gotta get a you gotta get something going to win. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, we play Islanders tomorrow and then Detroit on Sunday. But you know, these are going to be quick turnarounds, like you said. We just need to find ways to win hockey games. Um, we're on the road, and this is where. Good teams find ways to win when you play on the road, and it's a hard schedule coming up. We're playing really good teams, and you know, we just got to keep playing. If we played like we did yesterday and minimize the mistakes, I think we'll be okay. Pat, you had a lot of success last year with Connor and Jordan. Looks like that group is being revisited. What makes it work between the three of you? Well, I just think we had chemistry right away uh, last year, so. Uh, you know, I just try to use my size to open up space for Connor and Ebbs. Uh, just going to the net, create havoc, uh, be strong in the boards in the D zone to make sure I get the puck to Connor, uh, and just trying to play smart and not overthink it and just go out there and do it. Hopefully we have success tomorrow if we're playing together um, again. Hopefully the chemistry is staying, but you know, I just got to keep playing hard and working hard, and wherever I play, you know, I'm still going to be you know, enjoying myself. I asked you about how you and Yessi were doing with Leon at the end of the night yesterday, but how about yourself individually? How are you feeling about your game? You get that goal last night. Just where are you at? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think I would say I can do some more things. I, th I think I can do better. I think, I, like I said before, I can hold on the pucks longer down low instead of forcing plays. Uh, being big and strong, I, I can have a better net presence. But... You know, I'm just gotta. I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm. You know, I'm just taking it game by game and just trying to get as much confidence as I can. So, you know, so I'm just gonna continue that and hopefully, you know, it's always better when we're winning, right? You know, everyone's feeling good about themselves. Everyone's, you know, we're doing some really good things, and that's such a good thing to say. It's just such a good feeling in the locker room too. So, when that's going, I think everyone's just excited and feeling good about themselves. So, hopefully, I can continue. Hopefully, I have sex, success tomorrow with Connor and uh, Ebbs. Have you seen the progression in Cody uh, Arvey since game one to game ten? Yeah, I think he's a totally different player. He's starting to learn. He's starting to buy in and commit himself, and he's starting to look big and strong. He's playing physical. He's protecting pucks, and you know he's come a long way. I mean, he's so young. I mean, you know, he's doing everything. He smiles. He enjoys the game. He's a really good kid. He's humble. And that's what you like to see. Kids like that will get rewarded and will have success in this league.